Hello. I wasn't really organised then, as you see. Just enjoying a Slurpee on a wet day. Um, not a lot to say really in this video, but I thought I'd try and cover something that um, it's kind of three people have been saying something just recently. Um, and it's nothing bad, it's, it's all good stuff, you know, it's just kind of stuff in my head. Let me get myself comfy. Um, I recently met, I wasn't going to say any names, I might as well say names, it doesn't matter, does it? You know, recently met a guy called Dave, lovely, lovely guy, good guy. Um, and just one thing he said, there was me and Pete sat there, and we were having a nice chat and a slurpee and what have you, um, with Dave and Helen. And Dave said that Pete looks like ex-army, um, he's just got that vibe, that feel of ex-army. And he said, however, bro, he said, you look very spiritual. He said, to me, you are spiritual. You know, um, I've had two messages just in the last two days. Um, now, one person called me their guru. Um, and one person, you know who you are, you said, what did you say to me? Something about um, seek for the teacher and the teacher will appear. Something like that. Because I met this woman um, who needed some help and advice and what have you, and we just bumped into each other. So yeah, it's all cool. Um, I'm not a guru, I'm, I'm nothing special. Um, I am spiritual, but I don't think I look spiritual today. I don't, I'm very monotone, you know. Um, but it got to the question in my head, you know, what is spiritual and, and how do we perceive that, you know? And the fact that Dave said, you look very spiritual to me, what Dave is saying is that his reflection, his idea in his head of somebody who is spiritual kind of looks a little bit like me. That's what he's saying. So it's got nothing to do with me being spiritual in any way or projecting um, a kind of a persona on anybody or whatever. You know, it's just, um, it's Dave's, Dave's idea in his head, you know. If I go for, I was thinking this as well, um, if I go for an interview, and I have been for any interviews, but I've also been the um, guy that does the interviews, so I've had people come in. We're all not guilty, but we're all kind of conditioned in a way, right? You read the job spec, um, so we require this sort of a person with these attributes, these ideas or opinions or whatever, these qualifications, and it goes on and it goes on. Um, that's all well and good. So then you apply for the job. What you can't do, you can do all the research you want, but what you really can't do is find out exactly the type of person that they want. Because obviously when they're interviewing you, they've got an idea of the guy who's going to, or the woman who's going to walk in the door. Um, now, if I went for, if I, if I go for an interview to work in, say, some secure unit to deal with whatever I'm dealing with, I know that I can do it and I've read the job spec and away I go and I go to the interview. Now I don't know what they're expecting but in their heads they've probably got, we would prefer a male rather than a female, we would prefer somebody who can handle themselves in some way so they're a reasonable size because they may have to deal with physical, you know, physical problems and um, things like that. They would perhaps have in their head this guy might have to chair a meeting so we'd like somebody clean shaven very very presentable in a nice suit they may have all those sort of things then I walk in and I don't fit their criteria I fit everything that I went for initially that I read up on um, you know on their website their job oh get done poot I got a slurpee on the go I know get done please he wants to go out because it's raining can you move over there please thank you I will take you out a bit later, okay? Is that alright? Um, so I, I don't fit their criteria, not really. I, I fit all their sort of paperwork criteria, etc, etc. But I don't fit... Uh, tired eyes. I don't fit um, their mental criteria, which they haven't written down anywhere, obviously. You know, now we all do that. We like to box people off and we like to... Um, we, we've got this idea and this image of people 
you know, so if you're looking for, I don't know, a spiritual teacher, um, and some guy comes in looking like Eckhart Tolle, for instance, you think, oh, wow, hang on a minute. Eckhart Tolle is amazing, though. He's a great spiritual teacher. You know, if I'm looking for a spiritual teacher, I, in my head, I would look for Sadhguru, because Sadhguru looks like a spiritual teacher, whether they are or not, as immaterial. You know, I like Sadhguru. I think he's funny and, you know, he's intuitive and he's a good guy, really, very articulate and intelligent, but whatever. So, yeah, I was just saying that, really, but um, Dave also said, he said one thing about you, he said, you don't give a shit, do you, what anybody thinks about you? And it's a complex answer because, no, I don't. I, that's the easy answer. No, I really, really don't. However, I like people to like me because I'm a human being. Um, I'd rather people like me than don't like me. But even with that, I'm not overly bothered. You know, um, if I can form some connection with somebody, then it's lovely. If I can help or advise somebody on whatever level, then that's lovely. But um, ultimately, I don't really care. I don't see the point in caring, you know, um, somebody's opinion of me is only an opinion, it's just a collection of thoughts in their head, it's not going to change me as a person, it's not going to do anything to me, so I continue to be my authentic self, that's what I do, um, and obviously that comes across as I don't give a shit, well, no, I probably don't give a shit really, I would walk down your town, wherever you live, Wearing a bright yellow hat and purple nail varnish and red trousers and green boots, I don't care, you know. That's on a surface level, isn't it? I really don't care. But I'm also deeply caring as well, so I really, really deeply care. I don't really deeply care about what people think, but I do just, on a human level, I deeply care about people. So, as I say, it's a complex, complex sort of answer, really. Um... I would think how to be your authentic self is to kind of um, own your inner opposite self. And a lot of people don't do this. A lot of people are very, very surface. Here I am, this is me, that's the end of it, that is me. I don't believe that that is us. I believe that is only part of us, you know. And I believe we've got this inner self, this sort of opposite inner self. Um, if, if you reject your opposite inner self so if i'm male if i reject my female inner self then i could project that negativity onto all females perhaps you know perhaps i could so i i embrace and accept everything wherever it may come from really you know and that's the same as, as spirituality or as anything really you know um i try and be my authentic self and I see it as this, right, I, I see it that I'm not one person, you see me as just this bubble of skin or whatever, you know, but inside of me are a million bubbles, inside all of us are a million bubbles, and in those millions of bubbles is a little mini me, so a little mini bri all floating around in me, and they're all little segments of me, little parts of me, and they've probably all got their own little ego as well. All these little bubbles probably communicate differently to each other. Um, and then eventually that bubbles up and it comes out to be me, you know? So I think we're multifarious. I think we're made up from a million different things and loads of different ways and stuff like that, really. Um, but your inner, inner opposites can get in the way sometimes, you know? So I think if we're spiritual or if we're being our true selves, we've got to get rid of those sort of things, really. You know, don't let things get in the way. You know, I don't really see the point. And I don't see the point in caring too deeply what other people think of me. Because it's their opinion, isn't it? You know, um, I, I've virtually got a shutter pulled down in a way. And it's like this, um, I don't know, a shutter that if something negative comes towards me, it just hits and it goes away because it's not interesting to me. I don't really need anything like that. There is no point, you know. Um... But what happens, you know, is, is that people tend to stifle their true, authentic inner being or those bubbles. So their inner beings, lots of them, they stifle them. And why is that? You know, why are we doing this? Is it for 
family or for work or because society thinks you should look and act and be a certain way. Is that why we're doing this? I don't know. Um, I don't have any of that in my head. I don't need to act or be a certain way for my family, for these YouTube videos, for work, for this so-called society, for the people in general. I'm on a campsite at the moment. I don't feel the need to look how everybody's dressed and try and dress the same. I don't feel the need to go and have a conversation with 20 people and then try and think the same as them. That's not being authentic, it's not being true to yourself. You know, um, we need to open up to who we are. You know, I, I think if we open up to who we truly, truly are, then we get a, a sense of happiness, which again is something that we spoke about, me, Pete, Dave and Helen. Um, how do we... Well, what is happiness and how do we attain it and how do we hold on to it? You know, that's up to each individual person to discover. But I honestly believe that just by being yourself, by being your real, true, authentic self, you're happy. You know, you're ha you've got nobody to please. Um, you know, I'm, I'm quite happy in my life. Things I'd like better and different and blah, 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 like us all, you know. But on the whole, I'm happy. But I'm happy because I'm me. I'm more me than a lot of other people. So I hope that made some kind of a sense to you, really. The little painting behind me, can you see it? This is now complete. Owl eyes. You'll see it properly on my eBay. This will go up on Thursday. There we go. So you've had a little look at that, haven't you? I'm currently working on one more. Oh, actually, it's two more because one is very nearly complete, but I'm not showing you that yet. Only a very, very quick look. There we go. I only ever give a quick look to something that I'm working on because work in progress is very, very different to the finished article in my view, really, you know. I'm very happy and proud to show the finished article, but when it's work in progress, it's got a long way to go. I don't feel it's got enough of me in it, really. That's what I think, anyway. Yeah, so we got a funny old day. Um, very, very grey skies here today. Um, it's been wet all morning, all night actually. I woke up three or four times in the night and it was very, very wet. Um, you could hear it. You know, the, the old angel drummers are going like that on the roof. Um, went out for a walk about seven o'clock and uh, it was damp in the air. Well, it was raining, but it was one of those sort of silly rains, you know, a bit blowy and whatever and then it pissed down with rain um looking at the pud puddles now no it's still raining oh, it's 12 o'clock nearly it's still raining so it's been raining for about 12 hours on and off really but um i was over in the shower this morning and the little radio told me that this afternoon we're gonna have some dry periods including some sunshine Ooh. So we'll be getting out then in the sunshine, really. I might take him out just for 10 minutes, just for a quick walk. I know he gets bored, bless him. Being a border collie, he needs a lot of exercise. Yeah, so that's um, kind of emptied my head. And I don't know whether it made any sense. It made sense to me, really. Um, you know, how, how people perceive you isn't very important. You know, um, somebody says you're my guru you're my teacher or you you look like you're spiritual um i don't know what i look like really because i don't care um and i don't care about other people's opinions of what they think that i might look like either it's not very important to me at all but thank you anyway you know i i fully accept that and i, I respect how they view things but then i, I might might view something different and i've just said about Sadhguru, i would view him in my mind that is a spiritual man. If you just walk past me, um, because I've got this little image, you know, that's what I've got anyway. But, um, you know, I, I think by dealing with yourself on a, on a very deep inner level and accepting that opposite self of you. So if you're female, it's male. And if it's male, it's female. I think it was Carl Jung, wasn't it? The psychologist that said that. 
I'm sure. The other thing, just talking about Carl Jung and stuff like that, I've had a lot of teaching really over the years and stuff like that. And what I've done, and this is me just being absolute honest, right? I've forgotten more than I've learned and I've done that on purpose. I've got rid of it. I don't follow any set way and I won't do that. I follow the way of Bry. That's what I do. That is being truthful again to my own authentic self, my own inner being or millions of bubbles. That is the way to be for me, not for everybody, but for me. You know, some people, some people see a set way of being and that's the way they must be. I don't see that. I can chop and change all over the place, you know, and I take what I take from wherever it comes from. You know, but the teachings that I've had over the years, I don't follow any set pattern. A lot of it I disagree with. You know, I follow this inner knowing from Bry. That's what I follow. And I think that's very, very important, again, for your inner self to come out and speak. I couldn't speak from Bry if I'm full of books by anybody. Um, you know, the current ones is Eckhart Tolle, I suppose, really, you know, um... Wonderful guy and the power of now, wonderful book and what have you, but I don't speak about that because that's not me, it's not my writings, it's not even my collection of thoughts, you know. We're made up of a million things, aren't we? And obviously the collection of thoughts that we've got is stuff that impacts on us. And it could be a newspaper, television, a conversation with somebody, it could be a YouTube video, it could be this video that I'm saying right now, you know, that I'm talking in. So your collection of thoughts could come anywhere and that... You know, they, all those collection of thoughts becomes your opinion. I tend not to do that, and I try not to do that, really, so that my thoughts are my thoughts, and my opinions are my opinions alone. And they differ greatly from my teaching. Um, over the years, you know, I've sat in classrooms, if you want to call them that, and things like that, and I've been told stuff, taught stuff, read stuff, learnt stuff, I've been examined on stuff and I've got rid of it, it's all in the bin. Because I felt I didn't need it, I felt what I needed was me. And it all helps, of course it helped, you know, but again, I need to be truthful to me. And I can't be truthful to me if I just sit here and read a book or a passage. I might do that, I think I have done that in the past, you know, that's fine because I love books and I love... I love teaching, I, I love learning, I love people's wisdom and intellect and, and you know, it, it's great isn't it? This is what we're on this planet for I think really is to converse, to open our minds and listen and study but also to think, to think on your level, your terms and again for me that creates a happiness that I don't need to follow any set guidelines in life you know I said I'm a Buddhist I am I'm a terrible bloody Buddhist really but I am a Buddhist and I love a lot of their um, their ideology their, their their way of thinking their way of being and what have you and a lot of me really if I if I didn't know what I am I would read books on Taoism or, or Christianity or, or uh, Buddhism or whatever it is and yeah I would look at all those traits and think oh I'm mostly a Buddhist then in that case you know so that's fine, but it doesn't mean that I have to sit here reading anything about Buddhism to understand me, my true, authentic self. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now. Take care then. Enjoy the rain. And be well.